In this video, we are looking at how to navigate your MyModule site. Before we start, you should know that every lecturer will set up their site in a different way. So there isn't a standard single way that it looks for everybody within the university. But there is a certain logic to how it is organized that you can apply to all of your different sites, no matter how your lecture organized it. First of all, navigate and open the module site that you would like to look at. In this video, we're going to look at my module site, Anthropology 1501. So you will see a main page. This is your landing page. Whenever you open my modules, you will end up on this page. To the left, you will see this tiny little hamburger. You can click that hamburger and the menu will disappear. Or click it again and you will have a left side navigation menu. You will see your my modules list up here and if you click there you will see all the modules you registered for as well as my admin where you can go and do my admin thing things like check your academic record and things like that <clears throat> then you'll have your name and picture there you'll have a completion bar progress bar which is how you should be tracking yourself throughout the semester now the way that I like to organize my module site is in this way. I have my announcements that you can always see right from the start after my welcome message. And then I have different sections. You have to open these sections to see what is inside them. So, you know, in this section we have uh, introductions, discussions, we even have an assessment in here as well. For my module, you have to navigate through, uh, through each section to get from one section to the next section. You can see these my next section, Learning Unit 1, and you just click on that to navigate to the next section. This welcome page will always be there, so you just need to navigate a little bit downwards to see the actual content. You can see here, this left side menu has the same sections repeated on the left side. So you could also navigate to them by just clicking on the left side menu and it will open the content and you could navigate from one section to the next section. You will see on this left-hand section, you can also find your grades and the assessments that you have. Again, you can navigate your assessments directly by clicking uh, on the assessments here and it will open the assessments for you as well. <coughs> on this side, you'll further see you can access your prescribed materials. If your module has prescribed books, for example, which my module doesn't have, or your official study material. This is one of our eTutor sites. She used a different, this eTutor used a different way of organization. She has everything under activities here, and you can simply see it by clicking on this drop down arrow and seeing all of the, her activities listed below. Those are just two of the ways that you could organize a site. It is up to you to understand the ways that your lecturer has organized your site. Play around on your sites so that you can understand how your lecturer organized it and find all of your assessments, all of your activities, all of the extra work um, and resources that your lecturer has made available for you.